So, hello friends, today we're going to clean this lens. It's an excellent Nikkor 105mm f2.5. This is probably uh, uh, one of the most popular lenses made by Nikkor and then also one of the sharpest. Um, okay, so, and then as usual, uh, I got this lens extremely cheap uh, because uh, it is dirty, it is very dirty inside. So, let me try to show you that. focusing and then as you can see there is all that dust inside there and then yeah as I told you before uh, this allowed me to get the lens rather cheap uh, and then uh, what we're going to do now is just to open the lens to get it clean but before that uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and then uh, a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and then if you like also the, the contents of the channel too okay so uh, to disassemble the lens it's very easy first thing you need to do is to uh, come to the lowest focusing position and then if you rotate the lens you will find a screw hole that I'm going to focus now and then yeah to do so you will need a <coughs> to get it loose you will need a really small flat screwdriver so i have this one and 09 millimeters and then this is pretty much all for the tooling you will need for this lens so you just need to get the screw loose you don't need to remove it and you don't want to because the screw is really small so and then you might risk losing it so let it in and then just get it loose a bit and then the next thing you should be able to do is to rotate this element until it comes out <coughs> okay so you get this element and then uh, you can simply pull uh, the complete optical block of the lens so uh, in your case if you have problems with the mechanical part um, like this here so you can keep uh, disassembling it um, but then in our case it is okay so I'm not going to work with this uh, I'm just going to concentrate on the optical assembly here and then it is uh, rather simple we want to separate uh, this thing in three elements so front element and <coughs> the back optics and then this body here where you have the aperture uh, blades so and to do so uh, first thing we need to do is you have this hole here and then you see that there is some glue around it uh, so first thing we need to do is to dissolve that glue and then I do that uh, by adding some isopropyl alcohol I did that yesterday and then you need um, a few drops uh, I have to put like maybe five drops and then wait uh, for maybe five minutes until uh, I was able to do this which is uh, just this screw this element so here I'm doing it so here I get the back of the lens there is some dust in, we are going to blow it away and then uh, the front so here uh, here I was able to get it loose by hand uh, but probably if you are in trouble you can use a spanner key, uh, what is mine <coughs> you can use a spanner so you put it into the holes and then you turn or uh, the other tool uh, that I use here if needed is just a rubber cup and then I just use to grab and then uh, yeah, get this element loose uh, I was able to do it uh, by hand with mine so um, I guess it wasn't glued or something but uh, if you need any of those tools, uh, I just showed it to you before and uh, I will add some links um, in the description below. Uh, okay, so 
just need to discrew this thing here so and now I have the three elements as I said before so the back of the lens and the front element <coughs> that I have here and then if I show you yeah, this is the element that it has the most dirt in the lens so we're going to get it clean and then here uh, if uh, it happens to you that you have oily blades or something like that then you can work on this element here to uh, yeah to yeah to clean it uh, uh, and yeah solve the problem but honestly i have never ever seen uh, uh 105 f2.5 with oily blades um in most cases is fungus um, but that it's also rare it's mostly um, dirt in this element here but then and this allow uh, you to get it uh, rather cheap on the internet uh, okay so uh, this is for this assemble as you can see uh, it is very simple so I will stop the video and I will meet you in a few seconds for the cleaning and the reassemble So here I am, I'm back, I'm ready for the cleaning and this is going to be extremely simple because I just, before I start in the video, I just uh, breathe some air into the lens and then uh, here on this part uh, the dust went away and then here to uh, surprisingly uh, I just blew it once and then everything uh, went away I just saw there is a small stain in the middle of the lens so uh, we're going to do uh, a cleaning on that uh, nothing uh, very difficult so I put the, the ring because I'm going to put the, the lens in this way so upside down and then the the optical part uh, protrudes a bit beyond uh, the rim so like that I'm able to put on the lens and uh, without having it in contact with the bottom surface here I have a paper so there is no not much risk of uh, scratching the lens but anyway uh, it's better to be careful so to do the cleaning uh, I can either use isopropyl alcohol or uh, optical cleaning fluid this is the kind of thing uh, you can buy and then uh, the other thing you can do is you can mix uh, isopropyl alcohol with hydrogen peroxide well a few drops of hydrogen peroxide to clean a lens this works well too then uh, optical cleaning paper this is the thing uh, you don't want to skin money on it get the best you can get uh, because this is very 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 important okay so uh, I got a paper I cut it in, in bits already <coughs> now what I'm going to do is to uh, apply some optical cleaning fluid on the lens and then with the paper I'm just going to clean so you just need something soft to push the paper around so what I do is well you can do it with your finger it's not optimal what I do is I use this lens paper pen lens pen uh, well, not working very well today so uh, okay and then The lens should be clean. Yeah, there's some specks of um, dust due to the paper, but then that we can blow easily. So uh, that's it. That's it for the clean. That was extremely easy. 
I, I see there is some uh, small stain uh, still on the lens but uh, I just wanted to show you the principle so uh, now we're going to reassemble the lens you will see it's very easy as before uh, yeah, as the assembly was easy so the reassemble goes uh, very easy too so this is it so I have the optical assembly ready and then here the only thing I have to pay attention is to the aperture level so <coughs> what I do is I put the aperture at 2.5 and then I make sure I am open here and then uh, I have the, the pin which indicates the position with respect to this gap and it's at the opposite of uh, the lever here which is for the aperture and then I uh, just simply need to insert the lens and then normally it is mounted the way it should so everything works fine and then you put back this ring here you finish by uh -huh. okay there is something important here <coughs> I almost forgot to tell you and then here uh, when you disassemble this you will see that there is a small hold, hole here which is pre-machine and then this is the slot where the screw is supposed to go so and then um, what I did is I made a small mark here uh, on the on the barrel and then I just make sure I am aligned when I come to the screw so when I'm going to finish the assembly by screwing this uh, I'm not going to uh, deform and the threading behind so um, this is it for the cleaning of this lens as you can see it is extremely simple so uh, that's all for today and thanks for watching and see you next time huh?